What and the then, two? The behind the scenes of the 26. So, y'all probably just saw me run some errands and also spray paint my frame. By the way, first of all, it'll, it'll be, be on tomorrow. tomorrow. And honestly, today has been the roughest I've been looking because I usually don't look this rough. But, um, yeah. So, today is the day before my birthday. It's the 26th of April. Um, we are, what, six days into Taurus season, you know, by to the Aries, you know, the bulls are coming through. And, yeah, I have some things that I gotta get done for tomorrow because, as y'all know by the title today, like, I'm gonna be spending my birthday feeling like a model, um, slash have a birthday photo shoot because I just felt like instead of trying to get people to come together for me on a weekday after work like all that and like other people have other things they want to be doing that's not my birthday like just other stuff because they have a life like I just wasn't feeling that so I was like you know what I'm gonna take y'all out of it and it'll just be me because I'm gonna show up for me you know what I'm saying so I was like you know what instead of that let's just do what I want to do for me and let's feel good so that's what i'm doing but um yeah today is giving a little rough although i like my outfit for work but neither here nor there so y'all just saw the things that i mentioned i spray painted my frame and i was just gonna say that i actually thrifted that frame y'all and i'll just be trying to tell y'all like 
when it comes to things, they find me because I just stopped at this thrift store that's near my house that I've been wanting to get to for years, honestly, but their hours never work for me or I'm just not thinking about it. So I went in there because I got off early last Friday and I was like, you know, let me stop in there because I got some things to like get stuff for and plus for the photo shoot and i was like i need a mirror frame so i'm like thrift stores vintage i should find a mirror frame but i did not expect to find the mirror frame like it's perfect like the only thing about it is that it doesn't have the mirror in it and i touched it up with some spray paint but it was literally perfect literally the right aesthetic literally everything and it's just it's that thing that I keep trying to tell y'all, like, I'm just really good at this, you know? But I think also things just find me. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not going to question it. I just can't get over how rough I look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, what I wanted to show y'all is that I'm going to be prepping tonight. So, I have a few things that I need to get ready for tomorrow. I gotta wash my hair and blow dry it because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Um, but I got some things in the mail. Um, I got a few props and my matching gloves and I wanna do something really freaking cute to my gloves. So I have to do that tonight. So I just figured I'll show y'all my packages. I have a few. I've opened two because they came yesterday. These are my shoes for saturday's festivities so i'm not gonna open that on camera but i have a few things that i need for tomorrow so let's see what's in here what the heck what is this i didn't order this somebody sent me skittles Somebody sent me Skittles. They know me so well. And if I have to guess, if I have to freaking guess, this is my favorite cousin in the entire world, James Malik. Like, we three days apart, same year, same month, same sign, everything. Like, that is my, that's my person. Like, and he's just, he's such a giver. And that's just Taurus energy. And, like, he never, never misses. Now, only thing is, I like the purple pack and skills cause cancer, so now I don't know what to do. But this is so thoughtful. Ugh. Anyway, I'm so loved. Like, I be having to remember that I am so loved. And it might not be by, but the ones that do, yeah. All right, so next package because i was not expecting that at all i i have to call him he's so thoughtful what the heck it's another gift well, mind you i told him because he's a gift giver y'all so like i know it like even if i don't say nothing like he's going to send me a gift and it's always super thoughtful it's always one of my favorite gifts and in the past he's got me like mugs with my face on it like anyways um so i told him literally last week because for my photo shoot i have some props that i wanted and i was like you know what let me tell him ahead of time if he want to help me get this prop and he did so i'm not expecting nothing like nothing he did his part I cannot. Mind you, I'm a Dunkin' girl. <laughs> but I'm not upset at all. I will figure it out. I will go on TikTok and give me a Starbucks drink. You sure? You better know I will. And I'm over here sitting like, what's all these packages? Because, like, I'm expecting a few, but it's a lot of different bags. But I'm like, okay. Maybe they split it up. I don't know. Oh, I love him. And look, he even put, he put it on this one. Enjoy your gift. Happy birthday from James Malik. Oh, my gosh. I just can't. I just can't. This better be something I bought now. I need my gloves. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, here are my velvet gloves. I got to show y'all. I got to show y'all what I'm wearing, too. But I'm going to do that when I pack my little bag for tomorrow. Oh my gosh, please fit my fingers. This looks so small. Mm. And I got 
my own fingers. Okay. It'll work. It'll work. So yeah, I got these black velvet gloves. And I got, this is what came yesterday. Yeah, I was expecting my shoes and my gloves today. So this came yesterday, which is, ugh, what's up? Wow, it just like made me rip it open. That's like, and rip it. I ripped it because it was stuck to the inside and it literally has a zipper. Okay, I'm glad it didn't do, cause I like this actually. But basically these are some iron on, these are iron on ones. Oh, I gotta read the instructions cause these might be self adhesive. Either way, these are some iron on rhinestone letters and baby. Like, this is something I thought of as soon as, like, I had my whole, like, birthday situation thought out. I'm going to be putting 20 effing 6 on my gloves. So, I'm going to put it, like, but basically, I just want my glove to say, like, 20 effing, no, 20 effing 6. Like, how cute is that? I want that. So, I'm gonna be doing that tonight. And then the last thing is I got this prop, which is like a handheld little mirror. It's gold. They had some colors and I was kinda unsure of what color I wanted, but I went with gold. Can't go wrong with gold. So it's super cute and little and handheld, like very much main character. Mm-hmm. So those are my packages. Cause I'm not gonna show y'all my shoes because why would I do that? But I am about to open them. So I'm going to go ahead. I think what I'm gonna do first is get in the shower, wash my hair, because that has to be taken care of. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll show y'all me working on my gloves and then yeah. Okay, all of that is finally done and taken care of. So the last few things I wanna do tonight is pack my bag for tomorrow because when I leave tomorrow, I'm not gonna be back till my shoot is done with. And I still need to also customize my gloves. Um, I don't know if I told y'all about that. So, oh I did, I sure did. So yeah, I'm gonna customize my gloves tonight and pack my bag but let me show y'all the jewelry i ended up finding i went in dealers y'all and i immediately found what i needed like so pretty i love the length of it i love that it has rhinestones in it as well as the pearl, as well as the gold, because all of that will be featured in my pictures from like the gold frame to the gold mirror. And then the rhinestones in my letters to the pearl in the necklace. And like that just being a classic old Hollywood staple. So, I also got this few pieces from <laughs> the pennies, okay, on the clearance rack. That's why I keep saying like, what are the odds that I find this stuff, it's on sale and on theme? Like, these are so freaking pretty. I got all of them because I don't know what's going to look best with the necklace. Since I got the necklace from Dillard's and the, 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 um, the earrings from JCPenney. So I didn't really, so I didn't buy the necklace until after I checked the few stores that I wanted to for jewelry in general because I have Bobo. So 
I would have hated to have made that purchase and found something for a better price or more whatever but I did not find a necklace to compare it to that one but I did find earrings better than the ones in Dillard's when I went to JCPenney so I ended up getting those items and I got all of them because I don't know what's going to look best with the necklace because I didn't have it with me. I also got this necklace. Um, I also got this necklace from JCPenney. It was pretty and I like how it has the droplet. And I think that will be really luxurious. Like layered. And if not, I'll take it back. But I feel like that's going to give me the right amount of like, okay, on my neck type of deal. So that is that. And that will be getting packed up with me along with the rest of these. Um, this Monet brand in JCPenney is really freaking good. Like this is just the clearance. But they had some really pretty spring stuff in there and it all was giving and they're actually having a mother's day sale so i think that is a beautiful gift for mom's jewelry because the older you get the more you realize like accessories really do matter and when i was in dillard's i even was thinking to myself like for my birthday i just want a dillard's gift card because dillard's has shoes it has purses it has jewelry and that's where I don't necessarily always splurge on myself, on my accessories. I like to get those as gifts. So honestly, that's what I probably will let people know because the amount of jewelry I really wanted to pick up today, it was sick. Honestly, it was really sick. But it was so much pretty stuff in there. And like, it just always takes your outfit up a notch. But enough of that what's on the to-do list is these gloves with adding the rhinestone and packing my bag so let's get to it thing else so i haven't showed you guys what the theme is for the shoot tomorrow um my birthday's in 10 minutes i really need to hurry up because i need to get rest because it's gonna be a long day tomorrow but I wanted to show y'all what, wait, what? Okay, um, I wanted to show y'all my Pinterest board for my shoot 26. So the T will really be emphasized at my party on Saturday. But as far as the shoot, I kind of gave it a little spoiler. It's a little bit of like an old Hollywood glam, which I know has been done. But, you know, I haven't done it. So, who cares, you know? So, this is some of my inspo pictures. And I talked to my photographer today. I talked to my photographer for tomorrow. And he was like, yeah, let's definitely do a red backdrop. Which I love because I was thinking that anyways, being that I'm going to be wearing black and the gold and the pearl and everything. So, my backdrop will be black. I'm looking forward to that. It's some more stuff that I wanted to do for the shoot, but I didn't know how I wanted to spend my birthday the actual day up until maybe two weeks ago. So, and y'all know, I just started a new job and everything. So, just being the big girl that I am, I had to kind of piece it together, which is fine. But either way, I could have been better prepared. But it is what it is. We're here now. Everything is booked. I just got to finish these pieces and pack up. So, yep. So, what I'm wearing tomorrow is this black velvet maxi dress. And it has a slit on the back bottom. I'm sorry y'all, the lighting is just not that great in this room, but it's what I have to work with. So with these little strappy straps, and it has this deep V kind of situation. Um, but I just wanted something pretty classic. I did want to slit. My first thought was like mesh and lace, and I do have another option, but 
I tried them both on and I like this one the best. And that is why I got the velvet gloves to kind of bring the look together. And then I got these shoes for Christmas. So freaking pretty. This is where the gold comes in um, because of my shoes. And I knew I was going to be wearing these shoes. Focus. Yeah, so this is where the gold comes in um, because I knew I wanted to style these shoes for the shoot. Um, so you can kind of say my shoes are the inspo for the shoe. It kind of just like worked, but also just like the T kind of, you know, prim proper. I don't know. I don't know. It all made sense in my head, but I got these shoes for Christmas and I have yet to have a reason to wear them. So I'm really excited to be wearing this and styling them for the shoot because there are going to be a moment. And that's why I really want to have a slit so that you can see the shoes. Yes. Um, and then I just have some underwear over here to pack and I'm going to do all the rest of the goodies. Oh, it's so freaking cute. So all that I don't know is that if I want to do what I like my theme, which is twin T, like T E A or just regular 20. I'm thinking this just so it, it doesn't get lost in translation because if you know, you know, but if you don't, then you don't. But it looks so freaking cute. I know this is longer than this one. I thought about that too, but you know, it's going to just have to be unless I center the 20. I could do that. I could center the 20. I don't think that'll look bad. So I'm going to do that. But um, these are self-adhesive rhinestones. And if you want the link, I'll put this in the description box. I'm going to put this in the description box whether you want it or not. Because I have a feeling you will want it for whatever reason. And these are self-adhesive. These aren't even iron-on. So that helps as well because of certain like fabrics and stuff. Like if you want to use it on your grad cap, this would work. And I love it because of the size. There's like way bigger ones that come up on Amazon when you look for this, but this was the size that I wanted. So I'm going to definitely link this below, but I'm going to secure it with um, super glue just because, I mean, these are gloves. I'm going to be a little rough on them. And although it's sticking, I know that if I put them on and move around, they may come off. So I think I'm going to center the 20 on this glove and this one is beautiful. And then I'll be done. I love it. I love it. This is going to like be the icing on the cake of this look. Uh, a few other things as well. But this is definitely a beautiful touch. I'm obsessed. I did that I did that and it ain't going nowhere okay and it is officially my birthday I am the big two six girl I gotta get my own insurance thank the heavens God came through on that so I'm covered but baby I gotta get my own insurance I am no longer you no longer round down you round up Like, Jesus. But I'm happy to be here, blessed, healthy, whole, happy, and given another year, another day to get to where I'm trying to get to. Yeah. So now I'm just going to pack this suitcase up and I'm going to bed and we will revisit tomorrow. Next message.
You guys, it is the next day. I literally just got out of my hair appointment. Y'all, I have not gotten my hair done in years. Like, I forgot how this feel, baby. I've been too much on the DIY queen side because this feeling is like no other. But hey, y'all. So it is now officially my birthday. It is 427. It is April 27, 1238. And um, I'm gonna insert some clips of what I did and how I spent my morning this morning. My dad got me some roses. I journaled a bit. And I hung out with my, my loved ones this morning. And then I headed out to my hair appointment. So as I already told y'all today, I am spending the day like a model so i just went and got my hair done i took some really cute little videos um this is my first time going to this hairstylist so i really enjoy her and this is actually a quick weave by the way and the hair was included like definitely feeling the vibes and she was really really nice so yes i have my hair done now so before i go to my next appointment um I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all see how I spent my morning this morning. So I had told my dad I wanted roses and they're so beautiful. Like I told him I only wanted the red ones but then he got me the yellow ones too. Love them, you went and got them this morning. So I'm gonna put these in a vase. That's okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge, Granny. I know you usually have Kathy, Lolly, somebody to write for you. Okay, so next place I'm going to is probably to get some food because I have not ate all morning. Um, because I was just, as y'all saw, I was busy just kind of like enjoying the moment, taking some time. And I just wasn't hungry. Like, I guess, I don't know. I just wasn't. But now I would like to eat. By the way, she was super fast. That was literally an hour and a half. Like... I love that for me. And my next appointment is not until 3.30. And because I did so much prep yesterday, I don't have much planned. So, um, I guess I'm just going to go into my GPS, find me some food, and find me... I'm sorry, y'all. I am daydreaming. And I hate when I'm daydreaming. And I know I'm daydreaming, but I also can talk. <laughs> but, okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is, um, yeah, look for a place to do my toes and figure out what I wanna eat. Okay, but before I do that, I just wanna show y'all my outfit for today. So I have on this. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? So it's just like a little like zebra moment. This I actually thrifted, by the way. Um, it's actually originally from Fashion Nova, but I thrifted it from my job's thrift store. That's when I knew, like, okay, they're not just getting crap. They're getting good stuff, too. So I actually thrifted this. By the way, don't worry about my nails. I'm gonna handle that for the weekend, but for today, I don't really need to keep worry about my, my nails. So we're gonna just, like, ignore that. Yeah. 
So it's been a minute since we really. Hey y'all! So it's been a minute since we chopped it up, but I got my makeup done. Um, I was going for like this little cat eye kind of look. It's giving more Cleopatra, but I think it's gonna be cute on camera. So I ain't, I ain't stressing it that much. But the face is be I really look really pretty. I do, and um, I got my little chauffeur over here today. So that's cool. Mm -hmm. And then I just picked up my cake. So this is one of my props. Um, it says Taurus season. Shout out to Khadija for doing my cake. It's one of those vintage heart cakes to be one of my props for the photos tonight. So yeah, so this was my last stop. I'm on my way to the studio now. I'm gonna get changed. My friend is meeting me there, and so is a photographer. So we headed there. We doing good time. I was getting a little worried, but we doing good time. So yeah. I do want to just make a disclaimer. I um I'm gonna have to show y'all the inspo picture for this. I wanted it in cursive. I didn't know she was gonna give me these letters, but hey, I'm not a beggar, but beggars can't be choosers. So. Mm -hmm. Hey, you guys. So I just pulled up to the studio, and I am unloading all of my props. And I'm about to change and charge my phone and just get comfortable and get all situated. Photographer is here too. Um, my homegirl's gonna meet me here a little bit after six. It's like 5.52, so I was here well with enough time um, before the shoot start, but I don't know. He still has to set up and stuff. So I think I have a little bit of time. So I'm gonna get dressed. I got my suitcase. Um, just took one of my props into the studio and then yeah we're gonna get this thing started we're gonna get this thing popping okay so i'm in the studio i'm in the bathroom so i'm gonna touch up and it's better like so i'm gonna touch up what i can touch up but i'm gonna put on my clothes first that way i'm dressed and Keep the thing going. Welcome to the behind the scenes of the 26. 26. 26. 24. Video. D 
did y'all see the freaking quality like junior is so talented i met him back in november i might have told y'all this already but i met him back in november working on a shoot serving as the creative director and i just been following his work ever since and he just snaps every time and i really just want to give him the biggest shout out because the whole point of today was i wanted to feel good and i wanted to pour into myself in a way that literally speaks me and i did just that but that couldn't happen without the people that showed up for me today and junior is one of those people he ain't he don't owe me nothing we don't know each other like that but he took his time with me today to get all the shots, to get the best shot, because he enjoyed the concept himself, but I think he just really effed with my energy and my vibe too, like, it was just good vibes, I didn't feel rushed, I didn't feel in his way, he took his, like, he got the lighting right, he did everything, he made sure it was what I wanted and it, it made for the day to be exactly what I was looking for. So I'm just super grateful for how my birthday turned out. Like after leaving my shoot and after Sarah come in to the shoot to be my person to make sure I look good and I feel good and the music is right and the vibes are there. Like after I left my shoot, I really felt like, wow, I had a really good birthday. Like I enjoy getting my hair done. I enjoy getting my makeup done. I enjoyed... You know, my boyfriend's company, we went to lunch, like, he drove me around. Like, I enjoy all of that, but that really was the icing on the cake for me because it really just brought it all together. Um, I have a few cars to open. Like, child, I got gifts. I got cars to open. My daddy got me roses. I had got that cake. I didn't even show y'all the cake for real because I appreciate Khadijah for doing my cake, but... Honestly, the cake wasn't even in a heart. Let's start there. And then the words weren't in cursive like my inspo picture. I'm just going to show you guys right here. Because, like, for the shoe, it did what it needs to do. But for the price, absolutely not. I just wish she would have just told me, like, I can't do it. You know? But maybe not because then I would have been sick. I would have been so sad because I really wanted that cake. So I got what I got, but I don't think it matched the price at all. But thankfully, that was gifted to me. So that worked out in that way. But yeah, still, that was like the only thing. Um, But yeah, all my services were good today. Like, it was just a good freaking day. Like, I would really advise you to do that for your birthday and i feel like the older you get the more you realize okay yes it's nice to have the people you want around you to celebrate you but why not just take that day to do something you want to do how you want to do it with nobody else to consider or accommodate i've never done anything like that like literally i'm still like seeing my friends on saturday but to spend my day, my actual birthday, doing something. Like, literally, the only thing that would have been the topping on the cake with this is if I had got a massage. I might not be doing a photo shoot every year type of deal, um, but I'm definitely going to try to make sure that I spend my birthday for me, you know? And I don't know what even came over me to even think about it this way this time around, but I'm just happy that I did because... Dinner is cool, you know, but like that's trying to accommodate everyone so they can celebrate you when you can just spend your whole day doing things that you want to do. So this video, I would like for it to just inspire you to pour into yourself on your birthday. Treat yourself on your birthday. Um, and if you already do that, kudos. Me, I've never really done that. Like I've always been a party person and like I wanted the people around me to celebrate me because I know that they would like to see me but honestly like my niece and my sister-in-law came over today to try to hang with me for a little bit and it was like I'm not here because I'm just doing stuff that I want to do and unapologetically and spend it how I like to spend it so yeah that's new for me 
So I really enjoyed today. And like I said, shout out to Sarah and such. Shout out to Junior. Shout out to my boyfriend. Shout out to everybody, really, because I got some of the sweetest birthday messages today. My boyfriend was like, Jay, you're that, you, you that girl, you know what I'm saying? You that girl. And it's like, I know that. But to know and feel seen and know that people do see my heart from the inside out. They do see my, they do see my future, you know, like they see that my future is bright and they believe in me and believe in what I'm doing, what I stand for, who I am as a person inside and out. Like it just feels good and that's what birthdays are about. But you know, you don't hear that every day. So I'm always so touched by like some of the messages I get because I feel like, you know, that's just the time where people really just let you know how they feel about you and I just eat that stuff right on up because those aren't conversations you have every day and although I may know those things it we hate to say it but we like to be validated you know and it's like okay so I, it's not just me who thinks that you know because my opinion only matters yes but a person like me who wants to like leave an impact on people and not intentionally, but like just feeling called in that way. And I know I have a light that shines really bright for people to just let me know that they do see that and appreciate it just makes me continue to be me. Like just, you know, reassures who God has made me, you know. So, yeah. And like 2023, that junk is not like common, you know, everything is hype everything is superficial everything surface level and i'm a deep person and i'm not for everybody so i just love to i love to hear it words of affirmation and gifts baby show me <laughs> um it's already somebody else's birthday at this point <laughs> it's somebody else's birthday at this point it's the 28th it is no longer the 27th but i just want to come on here and close out the vlog and just tell y'all I really, really, really had a good day. And I would advise anyone to spend their day doing exactly what they would like to do. Main character energy. Okay. Tap in. I'm going to get some rest because I have to go to work in the morning. But it's Friday. We're good. We're happy. We're thriving. We're healthy. 26, baby. That's a wrap.